Hello friends, welcome to GT Science Tutorial. In this video, I am going to explain about entropy of mixing of ideal gases. This is a very important topic of thermodynamics. Suppose we have two sample of ideal gases, gas A, gas B. They have different entropies, S1 and S2. What if we mix them together? Will their entropy increase or decrease? That's a very important thing to know. And by doing a simple derivation, we can know whether the entropy increases or decreases. And that we are going to do today. We are going to derive a formula that is important for numerical problems as well. So let's start. To find out the conclusion, let us consider there are two containers and they are connected to each other by a thin tube. That tube has a stopper and we can control the flow of gases with that stopper. We can let them mix, we can separate them with the help of this stopper. And both of the containers contain ideal gases. Well, in the first container, ideal gas A is kept and in the second container, ideal gas B is kept over here. Let us consider the initial pressure is P1 and the uh, P1 naught and the initial pressure of B is P2 naught. Okay, so this is the first condition. And to prove it, the temperature must be constant. The temperature must be constant. So this is the figure to prove the mixing of ideal gases. Okay. So now let me write a little bit. Let us consider. Let us consider two containers. Containers containing. Containing ideal gases A and B respectively. Let the initial pressure of let the initial pressure of uh, gas A is P1 naught and that of gas B is P2 naught. Okay, so this is the general consideration. Now, suppose this stopper is opened and these two gases are allowed to mix with each other. Then what will happen? Obviously, they will mix and their pressure will be changed. Now, Whatever is the pressure of this ideal gas A and B, that will be now termed as the partial pressure. That is the new pressure or the final pressure we can say, okay. Let, let P2, sorry, P1 be the partial pressure of gas A and P2 is the partial pressure of gas B. So, P1 is the partial pressure that is the new pressure or final pressure of gas A, ideal gas A and P2 is the final pressure or partial pressure of gas B. So, P1, P2 are the final pressures. Okay, or the partial pressure we can say. So this is the general consideration that we are that we have considered to find out the conclusion that is what happens to the entropy when two gases of different entropies are mixed together. And obviously look at here, there is pressure term. Then the dependence of entropy on temperature and pressure term will be applied over here. Let us use that for gas A. First of all, we are considering the gas A. Here, this P1 naught is the initial pressure, okay, and the temperature remains constant. We obviously know that del S1 is equal to and Cp 
ln final temperature T2 by initial temperature T1 plus n r ln initial pressure that is P1 naught by final pressure P2. So, this is what we need to do over here ok. So, it is very simple to remember the formula you just need to do del S1 is equal to n Cp, Cp is the molar heat capacity at constant pressure ln is the natural log final temperature by initial temperature. If you give minus over here then you can write final pressure by initial pressure and if you give plus over here you need to give initial pressure by final pressure ok. You need to be careful over there. As we are talking about constant temperature then obviously this whole term will be 0 then it will be del S1 will be equal to n r ln P1 naught by P2 right. Now similarly for for gas B the change in entropy that is del S2 will be how much n r ln P2 naught by P2. Do. Let us consider them equation number 1 and equation number 2. Well, we have written n and that may be confusing. So, let us write n1 over here and 2 over here. Okay. n1 is the number of mole of gas A and n2 is the number of mole of gas B. So, we have done this much. Now, total, total change in entropy. Like whenever they are mixed, then obviously there will be some entropy change over there. Then total or net entropy change is given by del S m is equal to that is entropy of the mixer now that is del S1 plus del S2. Del S1 means how much? N1 R ln P1 naught by P1 plus N2 R ln P2 naught by P2. Let us consider this to be equation number 3 over here. Now, we have got this much. Now, it's time to use some other forms over here. For that, let me erase this portion. I have erased the unnecessary portion over here now. See, as the pressure is changing and there is new pressure being formed, obviously, then Dalton's law of partial pressure will be applied over here. As we are talking about partial pressure, number of moles of gases, then obviously, Dalton's law. Dalton's law of partial pressure partial pressure tells us tells us that there is a formula of partial uh, Dalton's law of um, partial pressure that is partial pressure partial pressure is actually equal to the mole mole fraction mole fraction times total pressure you might know this formula Dal according to dalton's law of partial pressure the partial pressure is actually equal to mole fraction of the gas into uh, total pressure mole fraction simply means this is the ratio of number of moles to the total number of moles okay and this can be re represented by n into pt pt means total pressure and this is partial pressure P. Now, for partial pressure P1, this will be N1 PT because total pressure will be same for both of them. P2 will be equal to N2 PT, right? Let us consider this to be equation number 4. Now, from equation number 4, we can replace P1 and P2 in equation number 3. So, equation 3 becomes equation 3 becomes look at here in equation number 3 what is there del s m is equal to there should have been del s m is equal to n1 r ln p1 naught by in place of p1 what do we need to write n1 pt plus n2 r ln in place of P2, sorry, P2 naught by and 2 PT, we get this much, right. Now, when, when P1 naught is equal to P2 naught is equal to PT, that is the initial pressure of gas A, initial pressure of gas B and the total pressure all are equal, then what can we do? Del S M is equal to N1 R ln 
this two will get cancelled out this two will get cancelled out as well it will be 1 by n1 plus n2 r ln 1 by n2 so we get this much now let me write little bit of things over here and look at here it can finally be written as del sm is equal to if we take this n1 to up and n2 to up then obviously they will have negative sign in front of them and if we take negative sign common then it will be this much minus n1 r ln1 ln n1 plus n2 r ln n2 we get this much this is the final mathematical expression of entropy of mixing of ideal gas in the examination if it tells you to derive the formula then we need to derive this formula and this formula is used to solve a lot of numerical problems as well in my next video i'm going to solve some numerical problem we will learn there how we use this formula okay now look at here if there is minus then you might be wondering how with this uh, like you might be wondering that the entropy of the mixture will obviously decrease but no you are wrong if you think that the entropy decreases then no it does not happen actually entropy increases how look at here this n1 n2 not only n1 that is ln n1 ln n2 okay the value of n1 and n2 that is molar fraction will always be less than 1 this always be less than 1 it will never be more than 1 okay or it will never be equal to 1 either so ln1 uh, natural log of n1 will always be a negative value this will ln n1 will always be a negative value because this is less than 1 similarly ln n2 will also be a negative value because the value of n2 is also less than 1 and natural logarithm of less than 1 values always gives us the negative value if this is negative then this whole value will be negative this whole value will be negative and finally what can we what we can conclude del s m becomes negative negative will add and give negative and negative negative will give us positive they are multiplied so del s m value is always a positive quantity that means the entropy of the mixture will always increase and if you think that because of this negative sign this decreases no this does not decrease because of this ln n1 and ln n2 this is the complete derivation of entropy of mixing of ideal gases and in examination you need to derive this for derive this uh, equation and you have to write this as well as ln m ln n1 and ln n2 are always uh, negative value then obviously del sm will always be a positive value and entropy of the mixture will always increase so that's all in this video i hope you understood everything about this video if you like the video please share this video as much as you can and thank you for watching the video